And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. Most locations are off to a dry start to the day, one of them being across McCammon. Taking a look outside the view behind me, it is of the I-15 webcam. Roadways do look clear for this morning, but it is pretty cold across McCammon, only seeing a temperature of 13 degrees, even across the rest of the Snake River Plain. Some areas are even cooler. We're at 4 degrees right now in Idaho Falls. 8 degrees across Rexburg with Pocatello, one of the warmer spots at 20 degrees, and even the Central Mountains a bit cooler. 3 degrees across Arco, and we are seeing the teens this morning across across Chalice and also in Salmon. Winds really aren't much of an issue this morning. A breeze between about three to six miles per hour across the Snake River Plain. But by this afternoon, we could see wind speeds up to 10 miles per hour, but it will be good because we'll have a wind coming from the south, which will help drive temperatures finally into those lower 40s. On the Storm Tracker radar, a few locations are actually waking up to some snow showers, looking like most of them across Fremont County. Those will be moving southeast across the western half of Wyoming as we move throughout the morning and throughout the day. But I think across the Snake River Plain, we have another dry day, but we will see a bit more in terms of clouds in the sky due to a small disturbance making its way in from the northwest. So we'll see mostly cloudy skies for the Snake River Plain. I think other areas could see partly cloudy skies for the Central Mountains, but temperatures today a bit warmer than yesterday. We'll be in the lower 40s for some areas. We'll be at 42 today in Pocatello, also in American Falls, a bit cooler for the north. 30 in Idaho Falls and other locations to the north, such as Rex and St. Anthony stay in the 20s. For the Central Mountains, a mixture of sunshine and clouds for your area with high temperatures even milder for some locations. 39 today in Stanley, 35 for Salmon, 36 across Chalice and for the Highlands in Western Wyoming. Hit or miss snow showers for your area today. High temperatures staying mostly in the 20s. 29 today across Jackson, 26 for Afton. We'll be at 26 in Island Park and timing out that moisture for you. 8 o'clock this morning, lots of clouds across the I-15 corridor. No Notice a few snow showers across the highlands, also across the western half of Wyoming. And once I put it in motion, even by 5 o'clock, we could see more of those across the highlands in western Wyoming. But it does look like a lot of those clouds stick around at least into the evening hours. And for the overnight, we could see some of those clouds linger as well. So partly cloudy skies for the overnight. Temperatures tonight will be a bit warmer for some areas, but still pretty chilly. Notice upper half of the Snake River Plain, Rexburg, and also Idaho Falls. See the single digits, Pocatello stays in those teens tonight. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast leaves us partly cloudy for Thursday, mostly sunny by Friday. Temperatures rising into those lower 50s by Saturday, even across Idaho Falls. A bit cooler, but temperatures finally returning to above freezing by Friday with temperatures for the weekend also becoming cooler. 31 degrees on Sunday with a chance for some snow showers. Teton area, a few snow showers today, partly cloudy tomorrow, mostly sunny for Friday and across the Central Mountains. Salmon Chalice and Mackey will be partly cloudy today and tomorrow with more sunshine on the way for Friday.